3D Elsa Acrylic Nailer Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video I'm going to create another installment in my Disney Princess series. I know it's been a long time since I did one of these, a couple months, but with Halloween in the middle of everything it just got kind of put to the back burner. So today's video is Elsa and it's got the little Elsa face and a little bit of her top of her shoulders and then the second nail is a really pretty, it's got a duochrome blue background and then it has a couple white snowflakes on it. If you missed any of my past Disney Princess videos, I will put links to those in the description box below and then when I finally finish all of these, I have a special surprise for you guys and that should be soon, I hope. And so I'll see you back then. Bye! I'm going to begin the Elsa nail with a very shimmery, glittery white base and this is the same color I did behind the princess's head for all of them in this series so far. And after that I'm going to be encasing the nail with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure that it's nice and strong and the whole thing is protected and so on. So just apply that over the top, smooth it down, remove any extra acrylic there may be, and then I'm going to be filing the nail into shape with my e-file starting out with a coarse bit to remove any bulk. I'm just going over the entire thing to smooth it out and then I'm going to use a finer bit to go over the whole thing as basically buffing it. So if you don't have a bit that's like that, just go ahead and use a buffer block. That works just as well. Now I'm going to be starting Miss Elsa with a very, very pale shade of cover pink for her face and her neck. So that white from underneath it is going to show through and give her a very, very pale appearance, which is what you kind of want for Elsa. Let's just start with that and create that little, little face shape. And keep perfecting it if you need to. I didn't do much of the actual detail work of any of these Disney princesses with acrylic itself, like facial features and all of those smaller details. All of that I did later on with paint. So you don't have to, you know, worry too much about all of that. So after I have that done, I'm going to be adding her chest as well, or the top of her shoulders. And then with an off-white color, I'm going to be adding her hair. And for that off-white color, the color I'm using is actually, it's like a pearly white. So it's a very shimmery, very pretty off-white color and that is perfect for Elsa I think. You can add more of those yellow tones to her hair later with paint but getting that shimmery base down really just I like to use shimmer colors for hair in general because hair itself does have a ever so slight shimmer iridescent shiny quality to it so that just adds so much. Then I'm going to be adding just the very top of her dress that shows with a light blue color. Not much of it shows up but the little bit that does you want to you want to add at the tip of the nail if the nail is this length. If your nail is longer, you can get much more of her dress in there. But then I'm going to be adding her braid down the one side. The funny thing is when Frozen first came out, I went to the movie in the theaters without really being aware of how I was dressed. And I was wearing blue and I had my hair in a braid, which isn't unusual for me. My hair is usually either in a bun or in a ponytail or a braid or something to get it out of my way because there's so much of it. And I just had my hair in a braid and this little girl came running up to me and gave me a hug and said, are you Elsa? And her mom's like, no, don't touch her. You don't know that lady. But it was just hilarious because I unintentionally dressed myself like Elsa when I went to the Frozen movie back when the first one came out. So after that, I'm just going to take a little bit more of that color and add some more detail and some more thickness to her hair where I think it's needed. And then going to acrylic paint, I'm going to start adding the softer details and the other details to her face. So with brown I'm going to be adding outlines. So with most of these Disney princesses I did not do black outlines like you'd see for a lot of cartoon characters. I went with brown because brown outlines aren't as harsh looking. They're a little bit more feminine and they just don't show up as being so dramatic. Which is what I was going for. Add outlines throughout her hair and then I'm going to take some gold paint and I know I said those yellow tones but a gold same thing is that shimmery quality really adds a lot to her hair and use the gold to add low lights to her hair here and there. Not too much, but just a little. Use some blue on the top of her dress for the blue outlines. And then I'm going to start adding all of her facial features. So sticking with your brown paint, just begin sketching in her features here and there. Add a line for the bridge of her nose and then a little, a little line again for the end of her nose, a little bit on her mouth. Add outlines of her eyes. The other good thing about using brown paint in a circumstance like this is that a lot of these facial features will be defined and have a little bit more added to them with different colors. And that brown base is just like little sketched in pencil marks that you can cover up and fix. And I'm going to be adding her eyes with white and blue. So just do white for her, just the whites of her eyes. And then later you can go through and add the, the blue iris just like that. A really nice intense blue is... The perfect color for that. Add some brown or some pink to the lips and then with black add her eyelashes. 
and her pupils and just add all of those final details that you really want to stand out on the nail. So the things that on a nail like this where everything is really light, anything that you add with black is just going to really pop out. So that's going to be her, your, all of her major facial features, eyes, eyebrows. And don't completely fill in her eyebrows with black, just do a little bit of black to, to sort of intensify them a little bit. I did a touch of black in her lips just to define each upper and lower lip. Then apply some gel sealer over the background and some matte top coat over Miss Elsa. And then to create the snowflake nail, I'm going to begin with a light blue acrylic overlay, the same color that I used to create her dress, that little sliver of a dress that show that was showing on the other nail. So to apply that overlay. And then after you have that, just like I did with the first nail, I'm going to be encasing it with a layer of clear acrylic to make sure it is nice and strong. Just go over the top of the entire thing. And like I said in the last video, I do have a bunch of these Disney Princess nails. This has been a series that has been going on for almost a year now and probably will take over a year. And if you missed any of the previous ones, I have so many that I have just enjoyed making in the past. I have Aurora and Cinderella and Belle and just about all those classic ones you can think of and some of the new ones. And I don't know. If you missed any of them, check those out and there are a few more to come. But going back to this design, after I have the nail filed into shape, I'm going to take white paint and paint a snowflake on there. And the snowflakes that are on Elsa's dress are fairly distinct, but if you don't want to take the time to replicate those ones specifically, you can go ahead and paint any snowflake because nobody's going to know the difference. So for hers, I just start out with a set of six uh, or three intersecting lines to create six points on your snowflake and then thicken them up and then create, thicken them up in kind of like a, a Y or a V shape. And then add a little diamond on the end of each one, just like that. And then after you're done with your snowflake, you can go through and add more lines here and there to fill it in, but then just add a couple little dots of color here and there throughout the rest of the background. As you can see, there isn't much background showing. The snowflake is really large and it's it takes up the majority of the nail. But if you do have space around it, just fill it in so that there's not a whole bunch of blank area just with a couple dots here and there. It doesn't have to be too much, just a few to fill it in. And then apply a layer of no wipe gel sealer over the top of the nail and then burnish in a layer of duochrome powder. The one I use is kind of a green blue over the top of the whole thing. And then just take and apply some gel sealer and you are all done with these two. I love the way Elsa turned out. I actually think she's one of my favorites as far as how I think the whole nail just came out. So I hope you guys like it as much as I do. It's very appropriate for this time of wintry snowy year and I will see you in my next video. Bye!